beautiful gathering as this afternoon, oh God. We know in our hearts, oh dear Father, that you do not gather your people in vain. So now we ask in the name of Jesus that you open up the heavens, oh God, that you pour out your favor upon each one of us, oh God, that you come in a mighty way, oh God. Let the fire of the most high burn through each one of us, oh God, that we may be able, oh dear Lord, to go out there and preach your word, oh God, that when you empower us, oh God, we will be able, Lord, to set others on fire for your own glory, mighty King. Now we bow down before you and seek your forgiveness, oh God. Search our hearts, oh King. Live on sin and the oh dear Lord. We totally surrender to you, Spirit of the living God. We yield to you alone. Come and minister, oh God. Come and speak, King of glory. Come and do what no man can do, oh God. Come, my King. We desire you tonight, oh God. No one else will do, nothing else will do, oh God. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. Be lifted on high in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Concerning 
this meeting. You say there are people coming here. And you say they are coming from a certain place. How humbled we are to be where we are today. Because this is a fulfillment of a message that came to us 10 years ago. The apostle would come with a message so powerful yesterday concerning the fulfillment of your word. Father, receive all the glory. Hallelujah. We honor you. We humble ourselves greatly. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins. Sinners plunged beneath the blood lose all their guilty stains. And this is the place, this is the city, and this is the county, this is the state. That these things are now going to come to pass. Amen. It's all about the blood of Jesus. <coughs> Hallelujah. We worship in Jesus' name. Amen. And I want to thank God for this uh, one accord. As I said, the one accord, you are trying to look for the foundation. Because house that has no foundation you will never stand. And when you are building a foundation, you are trying to take us back to the, that former foundation. Because the Bible says no other foundation should a man lay apart from which was laid. And we are building on that foundation. And we must follow the cord, the building cord of the church which God has given already. Amen? Amen. In every city, go, this is Sonoma, go to the county, they will tell you, there's a building called, and you must meet to the mark. And I want to thank God because I said, you are now taking the church back to the foundation. Whereby love was the dominant factor. Hallelujah. 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 God does not operate when there is no love. Yeah. Because his nature is love. Yeah. His name is love. Yeah. And whatever he does is out of love. Praise the name of God. And God will never operate when there is no love. Yeah. Take that one for me. Amen. And heaven can stand with me and vote for me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God will never operate where there is no love. Period. Amen. Amen. God will never operate where there is no love. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, Amen. where there is no love. Amen. God will never operate. Amen. Mm. You will never see a miracle apart from judgment. That is the only miracle you can see. God judges a people. But if you want to see a miracle, God moving. In your mind, in your life, love must be there. Because God does not operate where there is no. So take that one and put it in the bank. God will never do anything. Where there is no love. Because himself, when he came, he did not come like a schoolmaster. He came. And they, he came. Even though he came to us, he came through love. That's why the Bible says, For so God loved the world. Even though we were wicked, God did not show up. Say, I have come to punish you. You wicked people. 